So hi all, sorry about my voice, I've uh, caught something, anyway this is an Aige uh, 7000 series and I'm going to take it apart so I thought to show you how simple it is and the, the reason I'm doing it because I have bought a new one, I will show you in a minute and I think that most of the parts are exactly the same. Uh, for example, the drawer here that catch all the water is exactly the same size and also other parts looks exactly the same. So because this one uh, was not be able to fix or the uh, compressor or the heat pump is, is non-function, so I will take apart some of the uh, components inside and I will show you the new one that I've bought, which is exactly the same, but not the 7000 series, but the 8000 series, and it is also not 8 kilogram, it is 9 kilogram. I will show you in a minute. So, this is the new one, looks exactly the same, and this is why I'm going to take some of the parts. Okay, so in order to do it, you just need a Torx. Uh, this is Torx, I don't know the size, but I think that all the screws inside these dryers are exactly the same, so you can use the same for all of them. So if you watch carefully, you have one over here and one over the other side. So let's unscrew them. very simple with a Bosch or Makita or any other automatic tool that will do the work for you. After you do it, what you have to do is just move it, pull it this way. Ah, there is another screw on the other side. This is why it is important to show you. So I will show you the screw on the other side. So you have here another one. So just after removing the other one, you can take the first part off. So let's do it. Okay, the screw fell. Anyway, now it can be take off okay so you just pull it and there you have all the inside of the machine okay and probably a lot of dust over the years that it has been working so I will now clean it a little and then we'll move on. Now the next thing that you want to take off is probably the side, uh, the side metal part that hide all the electronics and the heat pump. So in order to do it, uh, you just have two screws on the top and few screws on the side. So we will start with the two screws on the top. And this is the same for the other side. So two screws, and by the way, all the screws are the same. So your uh, screwdriver will be good enough for all of them. So now I will take all the side screws. So one, two, three, and four. And then you can take it up and remove this part as well. Okay, so now I will show you. We have here all the inside of the machine just a second okay I will go over some of the parts 
So we have here just a second. We have here the heat pump. We have a capacitor, the startup of the compressor of the heat pump, and we have the main motor, and we have uh, gears on both sides of the machine. And uh, the same way you open the other side of the machine, so we have uh, two screws on the top and four on the side, and then you can take the other part as well. I will do it. Okay, so on the rear cover, I think you need to take it off in order to remove the main drum here. So you have many screws around, so you have to take all of them around and then you can remove this part off and uh, now it's all go off and now we can see the main drum maybe we can remove it I don't know from the other side but this is how it looks now we you have all the electronics here I will show you so we can remove all the electronics is here this is all the main board so we can move all the board with all the wires take them off all the wires have clips just remove and then you can take this part as well and also we have the rear uh, the front panel with all the buttons of course a few more screws and you can remove this part as well maybe I will show how to do it so I see two screws on the top probably there are some more let's see ah three screws and on the other side as well and then now we have another screws here one side other side yes almost we have another screw no no it's just take off whoa only one connector this is nice so you just push it a little and then the plug goes off and you have all the main front panel that you can use okay we'll clean it a little as you can see a lot of dust over the years no matter how you clean it it will keep inside okay two screws were catching the plastic of the a main board or the main electronics all the main electronics are generally uh, some plugs that you can remove pretty easily so uh, maybe I will show but you have also a cover of the electronics uh, this is the cover here so we have here clips in order to, to remove it so you have to press ah you can without pressing without using any screwdriver you can also open it not very complicated but ah, it is better to use a screwdriver to open more easily so here we have another plugs so I can remove all the plugs just like this you have each plug have uh, something to press or something how you need to to remove it ah this one just uh, pull it and also here ah, there, there are some clips that are catching it but with screwdriver you can easily remove the clips 
and pull it up and then on the other side we have the main power connector and we have a ground this is the earth not the ground the earth and here how this goes just like this and we have few more errors maybe I can cut can cut all the errors part because it's pretty annoying so I will use a cutter to cut the one wire that left and then all the control is basically out So maybe another thing that you would like to remove is the capacitor of the heat pump but you have to make sure that it doesn't hold any charge because you can electrify but since it was not in the outlet for, for a lot of time so I don't think it has any charge but it is very recommended to check it before taking it off so I just remove the connector and I'm not touching any way I'm doing a short just to be on the safe side so we have now already the controller and we have the front panel I think this is the main thing that I want to keep maybe I will remove also the main motor here and maybe the gears and maybe the belt and probably ah maybe the front front door i will also remove it because it's very simple i think so i think that you just have two screws and all this door is left out i have never done it so i don't really know Another thing that catching it. This is strange. Ah, no, no, no. Just a pin, maybe. So very simple. Now you have the rubber, and you have, of course, uh, the filter, and probably you from the front you remove. Let's see, I'm just curious. What does this give me? Aha! This is a regular Philips. This doesn't fit. Aha! <laughs> Strange. All the screws are the same and now they put Philips. By the way, some of them, like in the controller, are a little longer, so it's not exactly the same. So make sure to put the correct one when you are doing it so maybe we'll try to remove the motor now I'm curious how complicated this will be ok so we have probably to remove all the plastic here it is catching the... ah there is another capacitor here <laughs> So maybe this is from the heat pump, not the first one. Interesting. So two capacitor different sides. So the first one was probably to the main motor. Okay. So now Let's see how to get to the more ah, there is a we have to remove there is a lot of dirt here. <laughs> so 
So we have a spring and belt and probably the spring is catching the main belt. And probably you have to do it with few tools, maybe a plier because it is a little difficult. Okay, so this is probably the tension of this belt that spin all the part here. So I will have to use a plier in order to remove this part and in the meantime the connector from the motor is just one we have more wires on the other side okay later I will look at this maybe we so now I need a plier in order to remove this part here. It will be easier. So let's see what I can do about it. Okay, so I have no plier. Let's see how to do it. Yeah, pretty easy with one plier and then all this motor is catch. I see here we have few screws and then we have the belt. Is it now I can remove it easily? Yeah. So this is just a tension for the belt. And now the motor. Uh -huh. Again. Phillips screws. All the screws are regular, but I don't have a Phillips, so I will bring now a Phillips. So let's see if this is enough to remove this motor out. Oh, so it's a little tricky. So I brought also this one which of course doesn't fit and this doesn't fit also so I will have to bring some additional screwdrivers so I found something hopefully this one will be good enough Yes, it does. I know there are additional things that are catching this motor. I think I know what on the other side I have to remove this part <laughs> this one now I'm not sure how to do it <sighs> this part ah just one screw complicated to take this motor out because we have here a big part of the motor that is going out. Ha. 
so it's not very easy to take this motor out I think I will need to remove everything in order to get the motor out because all the heat pump on the other side is blocking the area or I can remove all the back panel and then it will be easily removed out okay so I will do from the rear side so I have now actually to remove many many screws here This is the only way to do it, probably. Almost. There are always additional screws that you have to find all of them. This part goes just like this and we have the drum also and a lot of dirt and still I can't get to the motor because I have to remove additional part unbelievable but we will do it of course so it's amazing how difficult it was to get everything out and hopefully yeah now i will get to the motor and there are still water inside but this is what i want to to be able to get to so now we have all the heat pump area wall which is i understand let's see how it is blocked from dirt unbelievable now I can remove the motor easily out Aha! all because of this motor I decided that I want to get it out now I think all the other thing will go straight to the garbage I will keep just a few parts like the belt uh, of course I will keep the front panel and uh, maybe the drum I don't know and uh, some of the sensors and the water uh, pump water pump out that is here in this part I will show you maybe I will try to take it out now here it is this is the water pump probably this is some of the things that are most common breakdown and should be pretty easy to take it off I think I need a flat screwdriver that I had here but now it's easy it's hard to find anything at all 
Ah, maybe I will take a knife. Kitchen knife or spoon or something that I can push into this area. Yeah, and then, yeah, it should go out somehow. Yeah, yeah. Haha. -ha. Aha, we have another pump ah, and we have also the water water sensor that I can also take out pretty easily I guess yes there are some clips on the sides that are catching it on both sides and we have the sensor out and other than this, that's it. This is what we get. So hope this is useful to anyone. Thank you.